So now we've done sentiment analysis, topic modeling, statistical analyses. What's this all mean? How can we visualize the data? Well, data visualization techniques allow us to provide an interactive tool for the user to interact with the data themselves. Yeah, so in the designing of the the data visualization, uh, it's a little bit different than than other data visualizations where you're building in like, you know, uh, bar charts and trend lines. Uh, you have to really think about it in a different way because you're trying to create a data visualization to, to um, allow for the exploration of unstructured data that we have added structured elements to. And um, this is just one example. We'll have something relatively similar to this, but it'll be a little bit custom designed for the for the topic groups. But we wanted to provide the ability to um, first off chart all of the individual opinion phrases. So you can see in this example, when um, you mouse over each one of these little dots, you can see the actual um, response itself as well as some metadata around it, like what was the word count? How positive was it? How negative was it? What is it related to? In this case, um, this is an example where we're looking at product classifications. You can think of how we would design this for, for this example is these would actually be topic groups. So um, interaction with the, the presenter would be a topic group. And now we'll have some uh, comments related to that. Um, this allows for um, some general filtering to to get you um, more information richness in the responses. So, for example, if I if I may say I don't want to see the results that have relatively low word counts because they're not going to provide me a lot of information richness, I can use this slider to cut off the responses that are lower uh, in word count. And now I'm I'm really focusing on those that are going to provide me more information. I can use that word count filter to identify that. Um, I may also look for extreme outliers or boundary conditions um, on sentiment. So only show me those items with a very high sentiment. So I can I can filter in on those. Or show me those items that are really driving dissatisfaction with negative sentiment. Um, you can select and have everything here is interactive. So if I want to see only those responses to cookies, I can click on that response. The basic idea with it is to provide an exploratory um, entryway into all of those opinion phrases. So if somebody has a question about um, any particular word or category, uh, they can quickly do that. Yeah, so the, the basic idea with this is to provide an exploratory tool um, for individuals that want to find trends uh, in the data. Um, you know, we've done all this work to add in sentiment, to add in topic, so that they can more easily filter these responses. And that's the overall goal here is, you know, if they want to see um, all the responses for a particular topic, they can click on that topic and everything is interactive. So now I'm only seeing those responses around digital SLRs. Um, and the other thing is it allows you to do ad hoc analyses when you find terms that uh, you think are of interest. So, you know, in this case, they have the, the term thyroid in here. So if you actually wanted to then find all of the responses of thyroid, well, there's only one. But you can at least see what that is, and it's related to deodorant. Mm -hmm. um, so it allows that ad hoc analysis. So as you're going through, if you find something really quickly, you identify a term. You want to see how much of that is negative and positive. What's the trend related around that term? Uh, you can use this uh, data visualization to do that. So it adds on to just the statistical analysis. It allows you to answer questions that you might have uh, weeks or months uh, down the road to be able to use this data set for additional kinds of analyses.